Well, I think we're all getting excited about the weather. And as the weather slowly starts getting warmer, you can begin by signing your child up for Camp Junior at Harriman State Park in memory of slain Bronx team Lissandro Junior Guzman Feliz. It's a free two-week sleepaway summer camp located and loaded, what I should say, with swimming lessons, art and music lessons, classes on leadership, skill building workshops, and much more. Now, the camp welcomes girls and boys ages 9 through 13 who live in the Bronx, and it also will be administered by the Fresh Air Fund with the full support of Lissandro's parents, Leandra Feliz and Lissandro Guzman. Now, parents may also submit a first-come, first-serve application for their children by visiting child.freshair.org or calling 1-800-367-0003. Now, additionally, if you want to support Camp Junior, you can also don donate online. And how do you do that? Well, you can donate online at crowdrise.com backslash Camp Junior, or you can text Junior to 41411, or call the Fresh Air Fund at 212-897-8900. In Health News, New York City has declared a public health emergency amidst a measles outbreak in Brooklyn. The outbreak began when an unvaccinated child returned home to Brooklyn after acquiring measles on a visit to Israel, where the disease is largely being reported at present. Now, according to the City Health Department's website, Mayor Bill de Blasio says the city will require unvaccinated individuals living in select zip codes in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, to get the measles vaccine in response to one of the largest outbreaks in decades. The mayor stated that he was aware that this was, quote, an unusual action and the city would issue violations and possibly even fines for those who don't comply. Now, those who cannot afford the vaccination can get it for free, the mayor also said. Well, that's all the time we have for our Bronx updates, but we do have other news for you. The Einstein College of Medicine in Morris Park it actually hosted MSNBC's All in America with Chris Hayes, and it featured Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and their Green New Deal resolution addressing climate change. Our Bronx Tech correspondent, Arlene Makoko, was on hand. She brings us a story right now. We are thrilled that AOC has come here. Lines were wrapped around the Einstein College of Medicine for MSNBC's All in America with Chris Hayes, featuring U.S. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez for a live production devoted to climate change and her Green New Deal resolution, supporting the findings of a U.N. study released in November calling for a 55 percent drop in carbon dioxide emissions by 2030 to meet climate goals. Here's Dr. Karen Vonick, a professor in the Department of Family and Social Services. I mean, this is one of the poorest counties there is in the country and we have rates of diabetes, obesity and other chronic health conditions and we need more attention and I think she's a really fantastic grassroots voice. Also waiting online, William Foster from Manhattan who wants to hear more about climate change that has the potential to affect so much. It's part of the economy, it's part of child care, it's part of everything. Like this is what we need to do in order to progress ourselves on this planet. Hayes, who is from the Bronx, opened the show, sharing that currently there are 405 parts per million of atmospheric carbon dioxide, a stark contrast from 1979, his birth year when there were 338 parts per million, and 1989, Ocasio-Cortez's birth year when there were 355. No filming was allowed during the production, but after Ocasio-Cortez talked to the press about the need for an open forum like this one on the Green New Deal. You know, I think uh, one part of this is to really have us expand our understanding that environmental justice is a racial justice and social justice issue. The resolution has 103 co-sponsors, including six Democratic senators running for president. Republicans, however, are not in favor, with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell calling for a vote on the resolution, with the majority made up of Republicans voting against it. I'm very encouraged, in addition to the fact that having every Democratic um, presidential candidate endorse the Green New Deal is not a bad start. 
The show was an opportunity to hear further on the Green New Deal that looks to guarantee universal access to clean water, provide a 100 percent green energy power grid, see that every building in America meets new green energy standards, dramatically reduce carbon emissions from vehicles and agriculture, all while providing higher education for all Americans, as well as affordable housing, jobs with benefits, and universal health care. For BronxNet, this is Arlene McCoke.